In this day and age, the chances are that most of you guys out there will have heard of what these things are, e-cigarettes. But just in case you haven't, my name is Danny Burke, you're watching Most Amazing Top 10, and today we're going to be talking about e-cigarettes. In their basic form, e-cigarettes are battery-powered vaporizers that heat up liquid that contains varying amounts of nicotine and other chemicals. This liquid is then heated into a vapor and inhaled. They are promoted as a safe, effective way to quit smoking. Maybe one of you guys have used one yourself, maybe you've heard about them, maybe you agree or disagree with their usage, but whatever your thoughts are, let's just jump into our top 10 facts about e-cigarettes, shall we? With our number 10. The e-cigarette was invented by Chinese pharmacist Hon Lick. In 2001, he was using high dose nicotine patches to try and quit smoking, the habit that actually killed his father. He started developing a vaporization system to give him the nicotine he needed without smoking cigarettes, and by 2003, he filed the first patent and the first e-cigarette was made in Beijing that year. The funny thing is, he still smokes to this day. I find that kind of crazy. He said that he has to use both e-cigarettes and normal cigarettes so that he can check the flavors. Sure. Now I've heard smokers use all kinds of crazy excuses to keep their habit going, but creating a new global industry has to be the most original one yet. Fair play. At number 9, there has been huge debates all over the world about whether or not e-cigarettes are safe. On the one hand, you've got people who swear by e-cigarettes and say they're amazing. You can often hear them say they've been using them for years and then it helped them quit smoking with no side effects at all. They say it's a modern health miracle that will save the lives of millions of smokers around the world. On the other side though, there's organizations like the FDA who approve all new products for Americans. They tried but failed to stop e-cigarettes from entering America back in 2009, but they still widely encourage people to not use them at all. There's also public health agencies such as the American Lung Association who say that the chemicals in e-cigarettes are unapproved and even toxic. So who will win? Stay tuned for the e-cigarette wars. Moving on to number 8, and e-cigarettes have spawned a lot of memes online. There is a running joke around the internet that e-cigarette users, known as vapors, will look for pretty much any chance they can to tell you that they vape. The memes poke fun at vapors' passion for the vaping subculture, mainly with the like, we get it, you vape memes. You've seen the pictures online. It seems to have come from the fact that more and more young non-smokers are picking up vaping to possibly look cool and they love to tell everyone about it, apparently. Maybe the vape memes have gone too far though? Like, you get that they vape. We get it. At number 7, although some people are concerned about the safety of the liquid inside e-cigarettes, it seems there's a growing number of people worried about them just simply blowing up. There's been a lot of stories in the news over the past couple of years about e-cigarettes exploding and shattering teeth, fracturing bones and causing severe burns. There was even this example of a man at a gas station in Kentucky whose pocket just caught fire when his e-cigarette ignited. The culprit is said to be lithium batteries. They're cheap to manufacture and are used in a whole bunch of products, but the problem is they can be easily overcharged and then they short circuit. And they're supposed to be ideally kept above 10 degrees Celsius, but in winter, you can't really do that. Now, a lot of these products that use these batteries, they do it with no problem at all. And it's fairly rare that this actually happens, but it is concerning for some people that it happens at all. And it's also apparently the reason the hoverboards keep catching fire on a side note. So don't blame it on the sunshine, don't blame it on the moonlight, don't blame it on the good times, blame it on the lithium ion batteries. Next up at number 6, let's talk about the commercial success of the electronic cigarette. Now in 2009, the global industry for e-cigarettes was valued at $360 million. If that sounds like a decent amount, then wait till you hear this. In the 7 years since then, the industry is now thought to be valued at $8.77 billion. In the UK alone, sales of vaping products overtook sales of nicotine replacement products in 2012, and they're now 3 times higher. The e-cigarette still has a long way to go to catch up to the traditional cigarette market, which is currently valued at about $750 billion. But with more and more smokers switching to vaping, it seems e-cigarettes might just become a bit of a thorn in the side of traditional cigarette sales over the next 10 years. Coming in at number 5, and if you've never vaped before, then you might be wondering, what exactly do they taste like? Well, the answer is, 
pretty much whatever you want them to taste like. There are said to be over 8,000 different flavors of vape juice out there. Just go into any vape store and you'll be met with a huge list of different flavors to choose from. The most popular one is tobacco flavor. Now that's presumably because it's chosen by ex-smokers, but you can get everything, pretty much everything you want from apple pie to blueberry, bubble gum and coffee flavors to pretty unusual ones like peanut butter and cheesecake. I never thought talking about e-cigarettes would actually make me hungry. But for real though, the list just goes on and on and on. And every company out there that sells vape liquid has their own unique flavors that they actually name and brand themselves. I actually saw one just called Zombie Blood. What does that taste like? Who knows? But you can now vaporize zombie blood. Welcome to the 21st century. You're welcome to it. For number four, we've got the most expensive e-cigarette in the world. Now in 2013, a Russian billionaire bought an e-cigarette for his girlfriend that cost an estimated $800 $80,000. Now, if you're wondering, like I was, how could that even be possible? It was covered in diamonds. A lot of them. This e cigarette took apparently four and a half months to create and was encrusted with 246 two carat clear crystal diamonds. Each one of those apparently cost about $2,880 each. And it also has authentic hand blown Italian glass from the Venetian island of Murano. I didn't even know what most of those words mean, even those words sound expensive. Its name is the Shisha Sticks Sophia, presumably named after the girlfriend. The Sophia part, not the Shisha Sticks, that would be a terrible name. Anyway, the company that made the Shisha Sticks Sophia for the Russian billionaire said it was a dream for them to make something with such class, style and luxury. Yeah, I'm sure the fat wad of cash they got was just a happy bonus. At number three, the laws about e-cigarettes vary greatly around the world. Now they're totally banned in countries such as Brazil, Singapore and Uruguay, but in the US and the UK it's totally legal. What I found interesting though was in Canada it's technically illegal to sell e-fluid that contains nicotine, but this law is generally unenforced, or so they call it. You've got to Canada. They're like, don't do that. It's illegal. Oh, you're, you're still vaping? Fine. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. What are you going to do now? Keep vaping? Okay. Moving on to number two, we've got vape tricks. Because a lot of vapor is made when using an e-cigarette, vapors started doing all kinds of cool tricks with them. Some of them have gotten crazy good at it, and they're now pulling off these amazing vape tricks. On YouTube, you can find a whole community of vapors who share their tips and methods for how to manipulate vapor into cool patterns and shape. There's even huge competitions with prizes for which of these so-called cloud chasers can pull off the best tricks. The really cool ones make the crowds go wild. They love it. It's almost an actual sport you might say. Now say what you want about this, but you can't deny it does look pretty cool. Kind of makes Gandalf look like a bit of a chump. And finally, people always say that your phone can do everything these days, but they might not be too far from the truth because at number one, you can now buy a vaping phone. So this is the Jupiter IO3 3G phone. It offers a long battery life, interactive lighting, and if you're wondering what that is on top of it, that's where you're supposed to put your lips and inhale vape. Yes. The phone has what it calls a shuttle cartridge that you can slap onto the bottom of the phone and it draws on the phone's power to vaporize e-juice like any other cigarette does. They even have an app that actually displays the vape's battery, it lets you adjust its strength and shows the user what flavor they're currently using. Furthermore, it will let the user make their own vape plan so they can actually customize how many puffs their phone will give them as a way of controlling how much they use it. Is this a gimmick? Probably. But vaping itself looks like it might be here to stay. Is it safe in the long run or a danger that needs to be banned? Only time will tell. Personally, I think it's probably somewhere in the middle. Your lungs obviously Obviously love nothing better than fresh air, but I think e-cigarettes are probably a lot safer than actual cigarettes. They certainly help a lot of people quit cigarettes. Well, I'll be down there in the comment section below in about 20 years to see if I was right. But until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. My name is Danny Berg. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find it somewhere down there. Thanks as ever for watching Most Amazing Top 10, and I'll see you guys soon.